this time the compound contains an alcohol and a ketone. So the first thing we want to do is just figure out which one has a higher priority. Well, here's the ketone, here's the alcohol. Ketone is a little bit above it. I know that it's going to have to end with whatever the suffix is for our ketone. And remember, for a ketone, it ends in own. Now I want to number the carbon chain, and I want this ketone, because it has the highest priority group, to be at the lowest number. So I'm not going to start here and say 1, 2, because there is a carbon here. So instead, I'm going to state this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I know there are five carbons, so I have to state that that's pentanone. And I am also going to, in the middle here, state where the location of that ketone is, which is carbon two. So this has pretty much just told me I have five carbons in the chain. I know the location of the ketone and the highest priority group for that functional group is the ketone. Now I have to account for my substituents, which is the alcohol and the methyl group at carbon four. Remember for our alcohol, when this is a substituent, that prefix is going to be written out like this, hydroxy. And we said that this was a methyl. Now we wanna place this in alphabetical order. And I know that H comes before M, so I'm going to first place the location of that alcohol. So this would be 4-hydroxy. Now I'm gonna place the location of the next one, the methyl. So again, that's at four, and we'll state this is methyl. And that would be it. Again, the first thing I wanna look at is just seeing which out of these functional group is gonna have a higher priority. That's gonna tell me what the ending is. Next, we number the carbon chain, making sure that the highest priority group has the lowest number. From there, we're then gonna look at any substituents that are remaining and place those in alphabetical order. And of course, we always state the location of those substituents and of that functional group.